Hello, welcome. Let's solve this problem together. We've got a uh, question here about uh, American football. And it's an uh, inherently confusing question, but we can get through it, okay? Hang in there. So a football player kicks a football over, attempts to, we don't know if they get, they get it, kick a football over a goal post. And the path of the football can be modeled by this equation, where x is the horizontal distance. I'll write that down on my graph. It's horizontal. And y is... Uh, the height, or h of x is y, I guess. h of x is the height of the football over a certain amount of time. And this is very confusing, but both are measured in feet. In football, it's confusing because usually you, you measure in yards. So we're dealing all in feet right here. So horizontal feet and height is also in feet. And they want us to graph this function on the domain 0 through 150. So let's put our calculator to work here. Press y equals and clear up any old functions. So now we've got uh, negative 1, 1 25th. So parentheses negative 1 divided by 2, 2, 5. Close parentheses. And x is being squared. And then we want to add 2 thirds of x plus 2 thirds of x. That's our function. Let's graph this thing here. So we get some of our function, right? But it's not really all showing. They give us a hint that the window should be, uh, we want to kind of model what we have here. It's going from 0 to 150. So kind of approximate that. I'll do negative 5. And then I'll go to 160. This gives a little bit of extra room on the x-axis. And we don't know the, the maximum height of the, the function yet. But let's just, let's just raise that a little bit too. Because right now it's going from negative 10 to maybe negative uh, 5. And then instead of going to 10, let's go to 40. Let's see if that covers it. Hit graph. And now we get a better uh, picture of this function. Now, in order to graph this thing successfully, I think that we should use the table function. Hit second graph. And you can see the different heights here um, for the function. But of course, you get lots of fractions in there. Um, so that's a little frustrating, right? It's, it's a lot of, there's a lot of points here that are hard to see, so I'm going to change the interval. I'm going to go up uh, by fives, and maybe that'll help us see, right? See, one, six, that's kind of weird. We started off, go plus, and then let's do tens. Oops, plus one. Go back to zero, starting from zero, let's add fives. And this is nice because you start to see some whole numbers in here when you change the increments. I need to check fives because that might work out and cancel with this 225, right? Multiples of five. So we have zero, zero is a point and 15, nine. So let's set those points up. Zero, zero, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not saying, okay, we gotta go all the way to 150. We're never gonna make it by, uh, by one. Let's go up by five. Sorry about that. So we have zero and then five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, right? 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and 10, 120, 130, oops, 130, and 140, and then 150, we make it. Okay, sorry. So uh, what are some points we've got? We've got 15, 9, and 30, 16. Let's use those. So 15, 9, that would be here. And then here we can go uh, up by 2s. Let's say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Sorry, I'm not writing all the numbers in here. And 22, 24, 26, 22, 24, 26. If you're trying to ever figure out how high to go, I think what you could do is use the maximum function. You hit second trace, and you want to find the maximum of the ball. So you pick a point to the left of your max, enter, and the right of your max, enter, enter. And that gives you a really good approximation here. It's about 75, 25, which is the maximum height of the ball. So I knew my range had to reach at least 25. So 75 is here, go up to 25 about here, 
This is the vertex. And I label these things 75, 25. Okay, then we've got 0, 0 down here. We've got also 15, 9. All right, here's 15, and then up to 9 here. And then what else do we have? Sorry, we had second table. We get 30, 16. So 30 and 16 here. Right? Sorry, so the next point is 45, 20. On your table, you'll see that. And then you see these symmetrical points on the other side. You don't need to plot too many points. Just try to find other table values that work. I found 120 and 16. This doesn't need to be perfect. You just have to have this set up, right, so it looks like the parabola you need. Then sketch this out. I want to actually do a better job. Go nice and slow. Get as many points on there as you need to get an accurate representation. And I know this, this ball is going to hit the ground. Uh, eventually, you want to find where that is. So if we hit second trace, we can find the roots or the zeros. We know 1.00. We're not too interested in that. Let's go find out what this root is here. That's going to be a critical point in a lot of these questions. So we pick a point to the left and to the right of that root, enter, enter, and give us the zero, 150, zero. So it is going to reach the ground at 150. So this parabola is great. I mean, it's a terrible parabola, sorry. But you can label some of these points to clarify what you're doing. You got 120, 16. You've got 45, 20. I label my points here, so even when my terrible drawing is showing up, right, it's really hard to draw this, this one, um, you're showing them that that's, those are the points you at least intended to plot. Okay, that is a terrible graph. Try to do better. Uh, determine the vertex. Okay, we had to determine the vertex to make the sketch of this thing. So it's 75, 25. This means, if you want to write down the context of this problem, it's 75 feet along the horizontal axis, the ball is 25 feet in the air. So say that in a complete sentence, right? So we have 75 feet on the horizontal, it's 25 feet in the air. And they want to know, if the goal is 10 feet, goal post is 10 feet high, and 45 yards away from the kick, will the ball be high enough? Well, there, this is uh, hard, right? 45 yards away from the kick. So the goal post is 10 feet high and 45 yards away from the kick. So every yard has three feet, right? So that is 120, uh, 45 times 3 is 135 feet. So we're at about 135 feet here. And we want to know, will the ball be at least 10 feet high? The calculator is our friend. Let's use it. Second trace. Hit value. That'll tell you, for any x value, what's the height. So I'm going to enter in 135. Hit enter. That tells us at 135 feet in the horizontal, the ball will be 9 feet in the air. So the answer is no. The ball will only be, will be nine feet in the air, in, around, in the air. So, um, and you can show that by writing down the point, 135 comma nine, that's the actual point. All right, so sorry about the sketch here and the sloppy increments, it's had a hard time drawing this one out. Um, but use a ruler, take your time on this, line everything up, and don't let them overwhelm you with these kind of questions. You can do it. Thanks.